All right guys, welcome back to the channel. It is officially the second to last week of the cut, week 15. So I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating to get shredded. This is my last one um, before I start reverse dieting. So yeah, I'm gonna go throughout my whole day, show you everything that I eat. It's going to total in about 2,100 calories. So that's really low, but yeah, it's just kind of what needs to be done these last few weeks to get leaner. There's not gonna be a lot of fat loss at this point, but I'm just trying to look as best as I can because I'm gonna be taking like some progress pictures next Thursday. So yeah, I wanna look really good for those. The so next week I'm gonna be doing like a little sample peak week, kind of like how I did last year. Not actually competing, but just for kind of my own. I feel like it's good practice. You know, I just enjoy kind of the whole like prepping process, I guess. Even though I'm like really hungry, it's still pretty fun to me. I'm not competing yet because I wanna put on more size. That's just kind of my plan for the next few weeks. Today, full day of eating. We're gonna start off with some breakfast, which I'm gonna be making right now. All right, boys, so meal number one, we have my breakfast protein oatmeal. Um, so I just have 37 grams of oats, 30 grams of collagen protein powder, and then 24 grams of peanut butter. We're using Skippy now because of that whole like GIF recall. If you guys heard about that, if you have GIF peanut butter, throw it away. Pretty much all of it got recalled because of salmonella. I don't know if it's like back, but I haven't seen it in the grocery stores for a while. So we're using Skippy, it's literally Exact same thing, same macros and everything anyway. Speaking of macros, I'll put those on the screen right there. Yeah, pretty low cal breakfast. Um, just wanna get some carbs and fat, protein, just pretty well balanced. So I'm going to eat this, and then hopefully in an hour and a half or so, we're going to go to the gym and film a chest day. Right now, my goal on this cut has been eating around every three hours. Uh, so typically I'll eat around 10, one, four, seven, and then 10 having five meals right now. Today, it's around 11 already. Every time I film, I always wake up late. I don't know why, but I've been waking up around like nine. Today, I woke up at 10. Starting off a little bit later, but it's all good. I'll get a little first bite for you guys though. If you guys have a sweet tooth and want something healthy, make this in the morning, because it literally tastes like something that should not be healthy. Like if I ate this and didn't know the macros, I'd probably think it's really bad, but in reality, high protein, delicious. So we're about to go to the gym. Uh, Pre-workout today, I'm gonna be having the Jack's Factory Nitro Surge. So this is not stim free. Um, I'm going to be taking this for the next few days. I've been taking the uh, pump surge, which doesn't have any caffeine in it. So I'm gonna be taking this one now just because I actually ran out of my fat burning supplement um, and it has caffeine in it. So basically for the last like two or three days that I've been out of this, I haven't had as much caffeine and I've definitely felt it as well as some of the appetite suppressants in this I have not had and it's made me pretty hungry. So this stuff does work. Um, if you guys want to get any of the Jack Factory stuff, you can use my code, code JCUP for 15% off. I have more of this on the way. I just didn't time it out right. Uh, so yeah, it should be here hopefully by tomorrow. And then on the way to the gym, I'm gonna have two Rice Krispie treats, some good fast digesting carbs and sugar before the gym, help you have a little extra pump. So I'm training five days a week right now. And on days that I don't work out, I don't eat these because I don't really need the extra carbs. So I'm having 1,900 calories twice a week and then the other five days, 2,100 calories. And the only difference is these two Rice Krispie treats. I'm gonna be eating these on the way and see you guys when we get there for the chest workout. All right boys, so we're about to train some chest now. We're gonna stick to eight to 12 reps and then we're gonna do 15 total sets. We'll probably do like four different exercises. So we're gonna start with flat bench and just go from there. I don't really have anything set in stone, so I'm just gonna kind of see how everything feels.
set of the incline chest press. We're gonna do a rest pause set. Originally I was supposed to do 10 reps, but I've been getting like six, just cause I'm pretty depleted right now. So we're gonna be doing six reps, then we're gonna rest about 15 seconds, four reps, rest 15 seconds, two reps. So we're gonna get 12 total reps, whenever it would have been only six reps in the last set. Usually for this I'll do 10, six, and four, so I can get 20 reps instead of 10 reps. Uh, but we're just doing a little bit less today uh, because I'm at the end of the cut and I'm tired. Boys, that's gonna wrap up the chest workout. So we did quite a bit. We did four exercises, 15 total sets, eight to 12 reps for everything. Um, so yeah, we're getting lean. We have, next week is the finale to cutting. So I'm excited because that following Sunday, one second, it's too quiet. That following Sunday, I'm gonna have a pretty big cheat meal. Not gonna film it, it's like Father's Day, so family little dinner. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for that. Then we're gonna get back on track, reverse dieting, which I'm going to document that how I do that, because I'm gonna try to stay as lean as possible this next bulk. So, I will see you guys when we get back for meal number two, post-workout meal. We got 30 minutes of cardio first, so wish me luck. I'm tired, but we're gonna just power through, boys. Only one week left. All right, so we just had a really solid chest workout. Um, something that I've noticed since I've been dieting and getting leaner, my strength really hasn't declined at all. If anything, on some certain exercises, it's increased. Uh, just because I've been prioritizing more like isolation movements, more things with dumbbells and machines rather than doing barbell compound movements. But my endurance is pretty shot right now. So like on that rest pause set from earlier, I noticed that I was just getting really fatigued a lot quicker, uh, but the actual amount of weight that I push doesn't feel any heavier than what it did before. It's just I get fatigued really fast which is probably just because the carbs are getting kind of lower at this point. With that being said, I'm gonna have my next meal, meal number two. It's going to be some chicken and rice, very basic, uh, but it does taste really good, especially whenever you use an air fryer. So this is the one that I've used for probably almost a year now. It's just a Ninja air fryer, and it kind of works as like a oven as well. So I use this sear plate, and I just put avocado oil and put six ounces of chicken. I usually cook two at once. Uh, and yeah, nine minutes each side. I do rapid bake and then 350 temperature. Uh, so that's what I'm about to do. We're gonna make that. And then I just use minute rice and then some fresh spinach. So yeah, we're gonna get this started. I am starving right now, so let's go. All right guys, so we have meal number two right here. It is six ounces of chicken, 50 grams of white rice, and 25 grams of spinach. Pretty solid meal. 
I'm really hungry, so I'm going to eat this pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, really just your classic bodybuilding style of a meal. I just like eating this after the gym. I feel like it's some good carbs and protein. So yeah, I like to sit here and I have a TV right there and watch some TV and just relax after the gym and eat this, which is what I'm about to do. Also, I'm gonna be having one of these. It's the Prime Drinks. This is their new flavor. It's called Ice Pop. It's pretty good, I tried it yesterday. I'd say I probably drink like three of these a week and I don't really count it as calories. Um, it is 20 calories though, a bottle, but I just never really, I don't know, I'm not really that strict. My voice is cracked. <clears throat> but I'm not like that strict. I mean, obviously if I had an actual show that I was prepping for, then the 20 calories would probably matter. But right now, probably doesn't. Not gonna make much of a difference. So yeah, I'm gonna be drinking this as well. It's literally just like six grams of carbs. Before I forget, the macros for this should be on the screen right there. And yeah, let's get into this. I am ready to eat. First bite. All right, so meal number three, I have two English muffins, and these are actually a different flavor. They are the Thomas Maple French Toast. So usually I would eat the cinnamon raisin ones, but tried these and they're actually really good, so just switching it up for right now. They're exact same calories, same macros. Um, so yeah, there's that, and then I put 11 grams of peanut butter on them. Also, I'm having a protein bar. These are just the pure protein bars. Uh, this, in my opinion, is the best flavor. It's the chocolate deluxe flavor. So I'm trying to eat every three hours. So I had my meal number two at two o'clock and now it's five o'clock, which I'm gonna be having this. And with having meals every three hours, I wanna have protein with my meals every three hours, 21 grams. Then I'm also gonna be having a 3D energy drink. And I usually would have that whenever I have my next chicken and rice meal. But since I'm gonna be having around eight, I'm just gonna drink it now because I've actually been fixing my sleep schedule a little bit. With dieting and having just more energy expended by doing cardio and all these other things, I'm a lot more fatigued. And so I've been a lot more tired at night. So I'm able to go to bed a little bit easier. So I've been going to bed closer to 1230. And instead of just setting an alarm or just waking up naturally, I've been just setting an eight hour and 20 minute timer. So I give myself like 20 minutes to fall asleep and then I try to get that full eight hours. Because if I just went to bed and didn't set an alarm or anything, I'm the type of guy where I can sleep like 12 hours, which I don't think that's really healthy either. So that's kind of been my new thing. Go to bed 12.30, set an eight hour and 20 minute alarm, wake up around 8.50 and then get out of bed around nine, which is a lot better than what I was doing before. Uh, there are times where I'd get out of bed at like 12, one. So yeah, we're getting up a lot earlier now and I wanna keep that going after I'm done cutting. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to drink the caffeine a little bit earlier from now on and keep doing the whole eight hour, 20 minute timer because uh, I feel like that helps a lot, especially since I have an 8 a.m. class starting next fall. I need to kind of prepare myself for that because I'm not much of a morning person, but going to bed earlier definitely helps with that and getting that full eight hours. Anyway, enough rambling on. I'm gonna have this English muffin and my protein bar. And yeah, I will see you guys in about three hours for my next meal. Just gonna be chicken and rice again, very exciting. These are what I look forward to throughout the whole day. These and then my rice fish treats before the gym, just because it's something sweet. So I'm really excited right now. So I'll see you guys in three hours. And before I forget, I'm gonna put the macros for this on the screen right now, just so I can keep the full day of eating going. And you guys can see everything I eat. Again, English muffin, 11 grams of peanut butter, protein bar. All right, so meal number four, we are having again, 50 grams of white rice, 25 grams of spinach, and six ounces of chicken. So this is really plain, and I probably would go insane if I just ate this every single day without any sauce. So the sauce that I use typically is this G Hughes sweet chili sauce. Um, I don't count the calories, but it is five calories. But again, you know, it's just kind of whatever. That was a lot of sauce. That's what the sauce looks like on it. Let me mix it up. All right, there we go. So that is my chicken and rice meal with the sauce. Honestly, it just makes it taste a lot better. I just have to have some sort of sauce whenever I eat it. I either use this G Hughes sauce or I like Frank's Red Hot. I just have been using this a lot lately because I used Frank's Red for so long. So it's nice to have something to switch it up. But yeah, this is meal number four uh, in about 
two and a half hours, I'll probably have my last meal because it's already 7.30. Uh, so yeah, around 10, I'll probably eat my last meal and then kind of wind down and hopefully be to bed by midnight because I'm actually exhausted today. Since I am getting up earlier and having less calories, I just am really tired. It's kind of nice to get to go to bed earlier because usually I'm like wired until three. I'm gonna eat this, enjoy this, I'm starving. I'll see you guys for my final meal, meal number five here in a little bit. All right, so here we have meal number five, the final meal of the day. It is just what I had this morning, some protein oatmeal, 37 grams of oats, 30 grams of protein powder, and then 24 grams of peanut butter. So yeah, this is probably my favorite meal that I have during the day. Satisfies the sweet tooth and everything. So yeah, I'm excited to eat this. Uh, the macros should be on the screen right here. And then the total macros for the day should be on the screen right here. And it is 2,097 calories, 179 grams of protein, 244 grams of carbs, and 49 grams of fat. So yeah, 2,100 calories, full day of eating to get shredded. This is everything that I eat in a day. It's been pretty consistent throughout. Other than whenever I went to Houston, I switched a few things up. Uh, I haven't been at 2,100 calories the whole time though. I've talked about in other videos how I've kind of slowly tapered down in calories. But the types of foods that I've been eating have stayed relatively the same. So next week's video should be the finale. I'm gonna take some progress pictures and stuff like that. Uh, do some low carb dieting and then some carb loading so I can get like the best pictures possible, kind of like what I did last year. So yeah. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to enjoy this. Peace out, boys.